Hello everyone. I am the author, Lauren A. R. Masterson, aka Alice Liddell, and today I am going to be reading my second novel, Tearing Down the Wall. Now this is a part of my romance novel series, and I say that because it's not a chronological series. It's all the same characters, but different scenarios. In this scenario, Alex and Freya are college students and many adventures await them. So let's get to it. Chapter one, Freya. I stared out the window as the old sedan rolled up to the south dormitories. The quad was full of cars, boxes, and people. I slumped down in my seat, irritated by the giddy fidgeting of my older sister as she rolled into the closest available spot. Yvonne stepped out of the car, her face bright with joy, upturned to the sun as she stretched. Isn't this exciting, Yaya? Your first year of college! And I rolled my eyes as I slunk out of the car and popped the trunk. My skin crawled at the prospect of some overexcited RA welcome party. The orientation yesterday had been annoying enough. Riveting. Yvonne started helping pull boxes and items out of the back seat. She swooned. Just think! You'll be here on your own, making new friends, and having new experiences. I'm so happy for you, Freya. Yeah, yeah. I grabbed one of the boxes, my arms struggling with the awkward bulk. Yvonne's face fell and she bit her lip. I'm sorry that they couldn't be here for you today. I flinched at Yvonne's soft comment and heaved the box up to my chest. I told you, I didn't want mom and dad here anyway. Yvonne picked up a small lamp and followed after me. I'm sorry, I just... Just drop it, okay? I snapped. I followed the lobby sign toward my new dorm in Hall E. It led to a plain wooden door that read E122. As I set the box down, I could feel the weight of my annoyance drop, excitement taking over. This must be it. I fished the key from my pocket and unlocked the door. Inside... The dorm was small with a window looking out over the lawn. It had a single bed, a small dresser, a tiny closet, and a desk. It was cramped, but at least I didn't have a roommate. Dad had complained at the cost at first, but I set the record straight about my acute inability to play nice with others. Yvonne set the lamp on the desk and plugged it into the wall. This reminds me of when I moved into my first dorm, Yvonne swooned. Oh, Yaya, cherish this moment. You will remember it forever. I sighed, the irritation creeping back up as I set the box down. Oh, I'm sure I will. I rolled my eyes. I didn't wait for Yvonne to follow. I was too busy trying to ignore the other families who were acting just as stupid and bouncy as my sister while carrying boxes and setting up cheap dorm furniture. When I turned the corner out the building entrance, I crashed into someone. Ow! Watch where you're going, idiot! I growled, but my heart slammed into my throat when I looked up at the offending jerk. Wow, Freya! I didn't know you were going to school here! The cheery voice sent goosebumps racing down my skin. He had grown since I had last saw him. Sophomore year of high school. Alex was now over six foot tall, and his summer volunteer work in Puerto Rico had lined his body with hard muscles under his campus hoodie. I bit my lip as I looked up at him. Oh, yeah, um, hi. Didn't expect to see you here, Blondie. My tongue felt thick as my brain buzzed. I didn't think I would ever see him again after my stupid parents had shipped me off to boarding school. And yet here he was, as if he had stepped right out of my fantasies. Oh, God, what is he doing here? I'll never get any studying done, and yet I don't care. I bit the inside of my cheek to keep from swooning. I could already feel my knees starting to buckle. Alex smiled, further melting my body into a smoldering puddle. He jerked his thumb at the doors behind us. Well, I have a lot of unpacking to do, but it was nice seeing you again. We should hang out sometime. He waved as he hurried back to his car where several other boxes were scattered around. I waved back as his body trotted off in slow motion. The sound of Yvonne's cheery voice snapped me back to attention. I took a deep breath and gathered up more boxes, putting Alex out of mind. 
concentrating on getting unpacked as fast as possible so Yvonne would leave. The day trickled by as we hefted boxes back and forth. I was building a small bookshelf when Yvonne came into the dorm room, hefting a big box labeled clothes. She set the box down on the floor with an oof. Watch it, sis, I razzed. You might break something. Yvonne giggled, then tore off the tape and began rifling through the box. Oh my goodness! She had pulled out a wool skirt meant for fall. You wear designer clothes now? I fiddled with the screwdriver, avoiding eye contact with her beaming face. What's it to ya? Yvonne folded the skirt and rummaged through the other fabric treasures. Wow, Freya, your taste has really changed. I bet these clothes look beautiful on you. She smiled. I'm glad. You're so pretty, Freya. I'm glad you don't hide it anymore. Yeah, well, it's not like that frou-frou school brainwashed me or anything. I'm still me. My face felt hot as I tried to deflect her words. Yvonne always made me feel awkward with her endless cheer. Oh, of course you are, Yvonne gushed. This is so nice, Yaya. Thank you for letting me be here today. Yeah, yeah, I shrugged. I set the screwdriver down on the desk, scanning the little plywood bookshelf. I turned to Yvonne. Do you mind if I set up my books? I can get the rest of the boxes after if you're getting tired. Yvonne waved her hand. Oh, I'm fine. Some of them are pretty light, actually. She opened the door. Be back in a jiffy. It had almost felt natural to be nice to Yvonne for once. I could tell she was trying hard not to be so dramatic, and I appreciated the gesture. I began sorting the books onto their proper shelves. Maybe it wasn't really Yvonne that was getting on my nerves. Maybe it was something else. A knock sounded at the door, startling me half to death. I tripped over boxes to open it, and Yvonne came in, hefting another box. Here we are, only two left. She set the box down and went back to the car. Alex. Seeing Freya in the parking lot had sent me for a loop. I almost didn't believe she was real. Her usual scowl had dropped, revealing the rare, sweet smile she usually tried to hide from people. I had been nervous running into her like that and immediately kicked myself for splitting before asking for her number. I waved goodbye to my parents, the taillights of the Oldsmobile growing dimmer as they drove back to the old brownstone. When I turned my head to my dorm, I saw Freya's older sister trotting up to me. Oh my goodness! Yvonne rushed over, her face ablaze with joy. It's so wonderful seeing you again! I chuckled. She was probably driving Freya crazy all day with her over-enthusiasm. Hi, Yvonne. You're helping Freya move in? She nodded. Mm-hmm. This is so great. I'm glad Freya has some friends here. Her smile grew smaller. I was so worried Freya would just live in her dorm. I want her to have a real college experience. Make friends, go out, and party. I wonder if Yvonne and Freya have gotten closer lately. Yeah, Gordon and Hannah are here too. Yvonne squeaked. This is fantastic! Stick. Her eyes widened and she sighed. Oh, Alex, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but it would mean so much to me if you checked in on her once in a while. I couldn't resist the bittersweet look on Yvonne's face. Memories of Freya locking herself away in the school library bubbled up. Of course, I'll make sure Freya doesn't turn into a ghost on campus. Oh, thank you. Yvonne startled me with a big hug and then pulled away. And remember, I'm just a call away. I nodded. The old sadness pitted my stomach. Yvonne had always sent updates with her new phone numbers and addresses. Once, she'd even spilled about how scared she was for Freya. We'd been sitting on the Petri stoop. Freya hadn't come to class in a few days, and I'd gotten worried and brought her homework over as an excuse to talk. Yvonne had insisted we sit outside, and I could hear screaming through the door. And that is chapter one. Thank you so much for listening. Again, this is my first romance novel, my second overall novel, Tearing Down the Wall, a part of the Alex and Freya romance series. It is currently available on Amazon as a paperback and as an ebook. And in the near future, I do hope to turn this into an audiobook as well. So stay tuned for all that. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.